Hi everyone, as promised, here is a second look at our starts. I said the greenhouse, but to be honest, we had an exceptional germination rate this year. And so that greenhouse has spilled over into our mudroom sunroom. And so I'm going to show you all of these starts that you haven't seen before I take you out to the greenhouse. So we have some later planted. Three, three, it looks like. Um, tomato plants, some brandy wine. Unfortunately, there was the extra green zebra. <laughs> That's not going to make it. And these We've staggered to see if we end up being able to harvest them, if we just grow them inside, what will they do? The climate here is very different from what we have done in the past. And so a little bit of experimenting. Then we have what currently looks like success, but I don't want to say jinx it. We have the peaches and cream corn starts that we started in the little tiny seed starter black containers and then my husband transplanted these and they seem to like being inside it does get cool in this room at night it doesn't get the heat of the house but it's warmer than the greenhouse and so we've decided to keep them in here until we're ready to transplant them though i think we did find an actual spot. Tomato plants. We have so many tomato plants. So the first ones I showed you were planted later. As I said, we're staggering planting because we want to know the best time to start these seeds. It is new here and so to find out we planted them and started them in two week increments and we'll see what grows best. So we're started 216, so two, two and a half weeks before the first ones I showed you. We have yellow pear tomatoes, early girls, let's see, black crim, more black crim, some sun gold. I'm so excited to have those pear, yellow pears and sun gold. And in the greenhouse, we should have some super sweet 100. I absolutely love roasting those tomatoes and then freezing them because they usually grow profusely. Knock on wood, hopefully they will here too. So let's take a look at the pet we repotted yesterday. So we have sweet peppers here. Let's see. We have Good as Gold, Emerald Giant, I don't know what color Big Daddy Hybrid Sweet Pepper is. A couple years ago we did the Rainbow Peppers and we found that we couldn't tell when they were ripe. And so we've opted for varieties that produce one color so that we know. Let's see. Looks like these are all gold, so yellow peppers. We have a bad spinach start. I don't know that spinach is something that we're going to grow. It's pretty re readily available here, and so it's less important that we grow these peppers. I mean, peppers are a dollar each. Nobody wants to pay a dollar each for a pepper that comes from the store. So, that's what we have going on in our sunroom. Let's head over to the greenhouse. Oh, the sun was out a minute ago. It was wonderful. Just poured rain this morning. Couldn't hear me talk in the sunroom. You would have never heard me talk in the greenhouse because it was just pouring rain. So let's... there's the garden. Still working on that. We have those six beds that are full now. Husband and the kiddos unloading more dirt. And here we are at the greenhouse. So we spent, close this. Ooh, a lot of buzzing things in here. Let's not close it. All right, so we have 
squash. Acorn squash. Of course, the zucchini starts that look pretty good. Another acorn squash. Wow, these acorn squash went to town. I'm really looking forward to these zucchini growing, getting planted outside. We eat a lot of zucchini and a lot of zucchini bread. And we will stuff zucchini and all sorts of things. So these two plants are a big deal. Okay, you guys just keep growing. Keep on growing. And so then we have the sea of tomatoes. These were planted, oh wow, three, three. Those grew really well. What are those? The super sweet 100s. Okay, that makes sense. The varieties that were inside that were small were the heirloom seeds. And we've noticed that they germinated slower and really have taken a little bit more time to grow. This aroma is not looking so good. So the squash and the zucchini got replanted. These tomatoes, we're going to have to do some thinning and giving away of plants, I think. But last, oh, we've got there's actually a bee in here. If you've watched anything else, I'm going to step out. I'm actually allergic to them. I love honeybees, but I don't think, can I, can I get it? Where are you, bee? Oh, well. Well, it didn't fly out. We love pollinators, but our house does have some allergies to them. So, anyway, while I work on not getting, oh, there it is, just chilling out at the top. So, we have tomatoes, and we have more zucchini. Look at this early girl. So, this is one that got repotted. This looks so good. Let's see. Coming down here, what are these? Let's see. They look a bit like, they're definitely not cabbage. Maybe they're broccolini, I'm not sure. Uh, yes, they are, because broccolini is back there. They germinated really well, and then they've grown to this. So we're kind of looking forward to see what they turn into. We'll see. Then we have more tomatoes. Ah, yes, carrots. So we have kept the carrots in this pot because we have critters here. We have rabbits. They're wild rabbits. And we've seen some rats. And so they haven't been in our house or close to our house, but we have no doubt that they would destroy carrots. So they've stayed in the greenhouse and I don't know that they will go in a bed, but probably stay in pots. Then we have our sugar snap peas and they actually flowered and I don't know what pollinated them, but we have sugar snap peas. And so we're going to pick those and enjoy them and start some more and see what that does and then take the rest of them. I think there are two back here who that have not flowered. Can't quite see them. Um, and uh, plant those. Then we have basil. You can never have enough basil, right? We have a sea of tomatoes. Basil is like its friend, so. We have, this is a very angry honeybee. All right, so, let's see. I think we planted, no, not most of the cabbage, but we planted a lot of cabbage. We still have more. I'm not sure where we're going to put it. We're to the point where we had such great germination rates and things grow so well in this greenhouse that we're looking for places to plant them, so we'll see. And, okay, so I said it was just going to be this, but seriously, you should see the plants that we planted real quick. So, 
lots and lots of cabbage. In fact, I think this entire bed was cabbage. And then the lettuce has started to perk up. We're going to direct sow some lettuce in two pots that we've started emptying. And gosh, over there, we should have salad. Anyway, so that is what we have growing. We still have our thornless blackberries to put in. And tomorrow we're going to pick up some raspberry, thornless raspberry starts and I will show you in the next video where we're going to put them. So, until next time, keep planting. Bye.